Eminem album tracks rank. So recently, Eminem released his second greatest hits album, Curtain Call 2, featuring tracks from Relapse all the way to Music to be Murdered by, Side B, and a few other new tracks. And many of you know, I am not the biggest fan of music, except when it comes to Eminem. When he releases an album, which these days it's usually by surprise, I am downloading it as soon as I hear about it, and then I'm buying the physical copy of the album. So I listened to all the tracks on this second greatest hits album, and then I just decided to listen to all of Eminem's albums, even albums that weren't featured on this greatest hits album, and it got me thinking. I've ranked all of Eminem's albums on this channel before, my least favorite to my favorite, which I'm going to do again, but I've never done a ranking of each album separately, meaning ranking each track that's on the album. So what I did is I started a series on the channel where every Friday I pick a random Eminem album, unless I get a request, and I just rank the tracks on the album from my least favorite to my favorite. So this week it's going to be Music To Be Murdered By, Side A. Yes, I said Side A. I know they came out with a Side B, that included Side A, uh, but to me, Side A initially came out in January of 2020, and Side B didn't come out until December of 2020. So to me, they're two separate albums, and I'm ranking them separately. Now, if you want to hear my ranking for Side B or any other Eminem album, I'm going to put the playlist link at the end of the video in the end screen. Make sure you check that out. Before I give my ranking of all the tracks that are on Eminem's music to be murdered by Side A, a few things you should know. We are going to disagree. This is going to be my ranking. Not everybody's going to have the same ranking, so make sure that you leave your ranking down in the comments section. If you're a fan of Eminem, smash the like button, share the video with anybody that you know that likes Eminem, or put this video on any one of your social media platforms. Like I said, leave your ranking or any opinions down in the comments section. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and be a part of something special. So, Music To Be Murdered By Side A has 17 regular tracks on it. I'm not going to include the outro track. And honestly, this ranking was very difficult. This album has a lot of good to great tracks on it. And a lot of these are interchangeable. But now I'm going to start with my least favorite and work my way up to my favorite. I'm really not going to give a lot of explanations of why or quote lyrics just because we're going to have a 45 minute long video if that's the case. If there's a specific explanation for a track that you want, just leave it down in the comment section. I will do my best to address it. But again, this is going to be my opinion and I'm not going to go much into details. My number 17 of an album that I like uh, all the tracks for the most part on, I chose In Too Deep. When I listen to it, it's just the track that I like the least on an album full of amazing songs. My number 16, and I thought this would be a couple spots higher, but when I re-listened to the album, it's where it came in. Any given day, this could change. But I'm gonna chose, or I'm gonna choose Farewell. My number 15, and this I thought was gonna be number 16, but then I moved it up a spot. It's gonna be Never Love Again. Again, it's one of those things, it's a lot of good tracks that I have to put in order from my least favorite to my favorite, and this is what I get. Number 14, to me, I thought was one of the most irritating tracks on the album, but the lyrics are good. It's just the the song just or track annoys me, and that's Ya Ya. Um, again, I don't want to go into details about things, but it's just something that I don't necessarily like as much as everything else. My number 13, and it pains me to have this at number 13 because I thought this would be one of the top 10 tracks at least, but I'm putting Leaving Heaven as my number 13. I generally, I genuinely usually like Eminem and Skylar Grey tracks, which I like this. It's just an album full of really good tracks, really good beats, and good hooks, and this is where it lands. So Leaving Heaven, number 13. Number 12, I chose Lock It Up. I like it. I like Anderson Pack. It's just an album full of really awesome tracks that I have to somehow rank. And that's where this one came in. Now here's where we get to a point where I really like songs. The other ones were okay to good. These are good to great. And then I'll get to the phenomenal songs. 
Mind Over 11. I really like this track because of the beat and how the flow is. I went into details for once. And that... Actually, you know what? I'm thinking of a different song. Never mind what I just said. Uh, we're still on the okay to good tracks. My number 11 is going to be unaccommodating. I like it. It's good. But same thing. An album full of really good tracks. This is where it comes in at. My number 10 is going to be You Gonna Learn. I like this track. It's just my number 10 because of how great this album is. And now the rest of these, for the most part, are good to great. And then I'll let you know when we get to great to excellent. My number 9 is Little Engine. I thought this might be a couple spots higher, but there was just stuff that I liked better. I kind of like the fast flow to a degree of this track, but again, I just like everything else better. So Little Engine, my number 9. My number 8 is going to be Stepdad. Maybe it's not the best track, but I just think it's catchy. And I always hum the song. And hey, I like it. So Stepdad is going to be my number nine, my number eight. My number seven is the track I was thinking of where I like what he says. I like the beat. I think it hits hard. And that would be Premonition, the intro track that's actually got some lyrics and, you know, a beat. I like it. So that's why it's my number seven. My number six is going to be I Will. I think lyrically it's really good, and a lot of people don't talk about it, but again, it's an album full of really good tracks that I think this album is actually quite underrated. I'm talking specifically about Side A, so I Will is my number six. My number five, in my opinion, I think is a, a track that hits. I think it's got good lyrics, and it tells a good story, and that would be Marsh. My number four, and this will be the last track in the good to great category, is going to be Darkness. Now, I know this is a very deep song. It's got a lot of things going on, and of course, the music video has even more going on. I like it. I just like three tracks more than Darkness, so that's why Darkness is my number four. All right, I've reached my top three. I don't know if anybody's going to have the same top three as I do uh, I like number three, I like number two a lot more than number three, and then I like number one a lot more than number two. But for my number three, and I, I would be surprised if anybody had even just the same three songs in their top three, because I don't think this is a consens consensus, maybe one of them. But my number three is going to be No Regrets. I really like the message this song has, I like the lyrics obviously, I like the beat, I like the flow. I just really like this track. Now, I know my roommate at one time, not the same roommate I have now, but a roommate I had a few years ago when this album came out, uh, said the song's, yeah, it's all right, and I absolutely loved it. I think it's a good track to play in the car and bump. I just absolutely love it, and I don't know if anybody really does like I do. So that's why I chose No Regrets is my number three. My number two I like a lot more than my number three, and it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else really likes this song a lot, but I just find myself having a lot of fun when I listen to this track, and that would be Those Kind of Nights. I just love the, the bizarre part of the beginning, which isn't a lot, but Eminem's part, Ed Sheeran's part, I just really, really, really like this song. I know it's more of a club song. I don't know if anybody else really likes this song besides me. I'm sure there's a few of you out there, but to have it as your number two on an album... I don't know if I'm alone on that, but I absolutely like those kind of nights. From day one, it's been my second favorite song on this album. Is Actually, uh, No Regrets has been my third favorite song since day one when I finally got through all the tracks. So those kind of nights is my number two. And by process of elimination, I think this is probably a lot of people's number one or at least number three or number two, and that would be Godzilla. This is a phenomenal track. The lyrics, the beat, Juice World, Eminem goes crazy at the end. I absolutely love this track. It's one of my favorite Eminem songs. It's just, I love it. I, the beat is amazing. The lyrics are great, in my opinion. And then when he goes, blah, 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 I can't even talk fast. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to try that. But I think it's phenomenal. 
and that's why it's my number one. So I'll recap it. Number 17, In Too Deep. Number 16, Farewell. Number 15, Never Love Again. Number 14, Ya Ya. Number 13, Leave in Heaven. Number 12, Lock It Up. Number 11, Unaccommodating. Number 10, You Gonna Learn. Number 9, Little Engine. Number 8, Stepdad. Number 7, Premonition. Number 6, I Will. Number 5, Marsh. Number 4, Darkness. Number 3, No Regrets. Number 2, Those Kind of Nights. And number 1, Godzilla. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section. Am I on an island with my top 3 at least? With loving Godzilla, Those Kind of Nights. And No Regrets. I don't know. I have a feeling I am, though. Again, it's my opinion. You're more than welcome to leave yours in the comments section. Uh, if there's any tracks that you're kind of wondering why I put where I put them, just let me know which one you're wondering about, and I can give you a more definite explanation rather than talking for five or ten minutes about it and making the video really long. Again, smash that like button, share the video with whomever you want, or put it on your social media platforms. Don't forget to leave that comment. Leave your ranking as well. And last, but certainly not least, I hate to sound like a broken record, but don't forget to hit that sub button. If you're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Share your dev support and be a part of something special. And JDev will be back with two more Eminem album ranking videos. I still have the Marshall Mathers LP to do, and I still have Kamikaze to do.